we find out that it's hollow. Ain't nothing on the inside of them because all they so busy trying to do is be cute. Can I tell you that I'm through looking at your cutesy, hotsy totsy self? Could you show me something else? I need to see something else. That ain't enough for me to work with. I'm not happy with that no more. I'm not infatuated with that anymore. I'm not even celebrating that anymore. I need to see some substance. Many of these people have, 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 have gotten to a place, these heroes, these people have gotten to a place that they're willing to live and move forward in life with people's mouth on them. They've gotten to a place that people talking about them don't change them anymore. They're so frustrated and confused and discombobulated that they don't get it no more. They're not concerned with what you think about them anymore. They have gotten to a place where they have checked out of that mindset. And so was the case with this woman with the issue of blood. So was the case with this woman with the blood issue. Scripture teaches that Jesus, while he was on earth, that he had acquired and obtained, developed a reputation. Now I am aware that Paul said in Philippians chapter 2 verse 7 that Jesus made of himself no reputation. But what he meant by that is Jesus laid aside and emptied himself of his privileges. It did not mean that Jesus didn't have a reputation. Because I will take you to Scripture and show you where the throngs of people, they, 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 the Scripture, when you translate thronged him, it means that they actually choked him and stifled him. Even the Pharisees and the Sadducees, the people who spoke against him, the people who didn't even like him, they didn't like him, but they couldn't argue with the facts. You know, that's how some of you are going to be. There's going to be people who don't like you, but they cannot argue with the fact that the blessings of God are just on your life. And, and, and they look at you and they despise you. But the truth is, is a man with an argument is no match for a man with an experience. And God has so blessed you. God is about to bless you in such a way that people are going to despise you, but they're going to know that nobody could have done it but God because they know where you come from. That's why people, God will allow people to see you down on the ground so that they can appreciate you when you go up in the air. Jesus was doing great things. He was doing great things. And no fact, and there's no doubt that, that she had heard. Can I preach this like I feel it? She had heard about Jesus. She had heard about the miracles. She had heard about the cures and the healings. She had heard about the demoniac just across the waters just earlier that day who had been healed, who had been set free. She had heard about this. No doubt she heard about the paralytic who went to the house and there was no room to get in. Because Jesus had a reputation. People were following him just to see what he was doing. Scripture says that the paralytic couldn't even get in, but he had some friends. <laughs> you know, I love the fact that we are getting to a place as a church that we don't mind helping people. Yet the scripture says that, 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 that he couldn't even get in through the door. Now, 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 I have to put myself in that place. When I preach, I like to put myself writing that scenario and understand. I mean, imagine me, the crazy West Morgan that y'all know. And the crazy West Morgan that you imagine I am. Imagine me being on a bed and them telling me, we know your breakthrough's right inside the house, but you're not able to get in. Think about that for a minute and come back to me, write me some notes. Because when I tell you that I would have got my friends and got on top of that house, the scripture says that they took the roof off. Uh, what would it be like if we would just come out from our little worlds for a moment and, and, and grab a hold of somebody who really come to church today that needs something that's got to have something from God and just tore the roof off the house and just let him down the way he could get to Jesus. Imagine them telling me that I couldn't get in and me knowing that I was about to get up out of this bed, that my days of 
being crippled were about over. I'm telling you right now, are you crazy? Have you lost your mind? I will kick this door down. I will kick this wall down. I will huff and I will puff and I will blow this house down. But I refuse to stay. A man, she heard about this. She heard about this relentless faith, this tenacity that this paralytic had. And she heard about him getting healed. And she heard about the demon, demonic man getting delivered. Can you imagine her faith and, and, the, and the optimism that began to be aroused in her? She heard about it. The problem is, she had an issue of blood. I'm trying to move fast because I know some of y'all got stuff on the stove. The problem was that she had a flow of blood. And the Levitical law stated this, that a woman with a flow of blood over its permitted time, which was seven days, was considered to be unclean. Twelve years. Not only was she deemed unclean, but anything that she come in contact was unclean. And if she continued to contaminate people and things, then she could be dead. She could be killed for doing that. And so this created a dilemma for her. Because not only did she have to touch Jesus, but she had to touch the multitudes to get through to Him. Anything she touched, that means that she was socially isolated. That meant that she was disqualified to be a mother. Because if she touched her children, then she would contaminate her children. It means that she was disqualified to be a wife. No doubt she was divorced because she couldn't touch her husband. Because if she touched her husband, then he was contaminated. She was isolated completely. She had no friends because people will only grieve with you so long. After a while, people get tired of crying with you about your issues and your problems. And, 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 and most of the time, they get to a place where they realize that they're being a victim of your issue and they move on in life. So she was socially isolated. She was socially cut off. This issue of blood had taken everything from her. It had taken her, her ability to be a daughter. She couldn't deal with her father. It, it, it took her ability to be a friend. It took her ability to be a mother. It, it took her ability to do anything but be isolated. Imagine the rejection of being by yourself, living with an issue for day in and day out. Twelve long years. Do you know that you can go through so much sometimes that people don't even want to fool with you anymore? People get tired of listening to you cry and go from one heartache to the next heartache. She, she had gotten to a place in her life to where she was so sick and tired of being sick and tired. Is there anybody in here that has lived with your addiction or lived with your perversion or lived with an addicted person in your house or lived with an ailment for so long that you are just tired of living, period? Imagine the suicidal tendencies that she may have had. Uh, imagine what she went through on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, you ought to consider one thing. You don't know what it costs me to be me every day. Just like I don't know what it costs you to be you. There are certain things that you have to go through in life to be who you are and to maintain the person that God's created you to be. Imagine what this person has went to went through. She wasn't supposed to touch anybody. She wasn't supposed to touch Jesus. She wasn't supposed to go into the multitude. How was she about to get to her breakthrough if she couldn't even be around people? How many of you know that faith will make you take risks? How many of you know that desperation will make you cost, take some risks? It'll make you get to a place where you're willing to cost it all. Because you finally get to a place to where say, I would rather 